So where, whereabouts are the fireworks? Queen, well, the fireworks are on the breakwater which we came around the other day, but we're going to stand on the wave wall at Queen Anne Barracks ah. and look straight across at them. And what are we having for Dwinkies beforehand? Pims. Well, I am. Doesn't mm. it you? Oh, I'm just going to have something uh, non-alcoholic. Yeah, so looking forward to it tonight. That should be good. Let me see it again tomorrow night from the same view for, with a potluck supper. So we'll put one of these on, we've got a, a little white light, navigation light for the dinghy. We've not been out at night in it. One of these that kind of clamps to the stern of the dinghy and it's just powered by batteries. Should be fine for us and also taking the torch with us. It's going on the dinghy across the Queen Anne barracks. We're going to sit on that wall later on to watch the fireworks. So we're off to see Paul and Liz Harewood, their cruising association organisers on their boat, Minolto. <laughs> so we, since we saw you, lunchtime, yeah, we went to see the boat. Oh, that's what we saw. Oh, that's what I can just about see over to Mount Batten now, it's all getting ready for us, but at um, about 9 o'clock if you want to grab your chairs if you've brought them and take them up onto the wave wall in this sort of area I would recommend the fireworks are directly opposite. There are three 10 minute displays with a 10 minute gap between and then as you know it's all repeated again tomorrow with three different companies. And it is part of the British Firework Championship so you will enjoy it. We are doing a walk and we're going to go over. You need to bring cards and forks, spoon, plate and bowl and your own drinks and something to drink in front of you as possible. All right. We'll have some tables set up. Some slowly sank and we got ready for the firework display. That's a bit of camera, Martin. Yeah. It does indeed. The boats moored out in the channel, closer to the fireworks than we were. Now, although it looks like these fireworks are going off on the foredeck of all these boats out there, they're probably several hundred metres clear of where the firework display was. That was the end of the first night's display. Uh, hard to decide who was a winner. I don't know how they'd manage that. Although we couldn't uh, go with them the following day, the, uh, the group made a walk along the west side of Plymouth Sound. Uh, lovely walks there are there. You can get there by ferry. So we're back for the fireworks tonight then. A soggy one. A soggy one. I hope the fireworks go off. 
following evening we gathered for the next phase of the firework. How was the food? Supper in the rain was followed by uh, some beautiful sweets and we managed to keep warm in the aboard two of the vessels. <laughs> well, they, re they reckon they'd never cancelled a year apart from COVID. All right, okay. So, yeah. so we're hoping every, everything doesn't turn into a damp squib. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it's looking good. The drizzle stopped just in time for the fireworks to begin again. This was the most colourful part of the displays we saw, in my opinion anyway. And that was undoubtedly the biggest explosion of the two-day competition.
fireworks over, we made our way back by dinghy across the channel to the Plymouth Yacht Haven Marina. So we made it back safe to the marina. We would left it a few more minutes after the fireworks finished so that all the marine traffic could clear and it was a bit safer for us to go across and finally we made it back home to Akitas. So that was our first uh, cruising association event. Um, we tried to make the channel cr uh, cruise, the channel rally, but we didn't make that. We About a month that. off that, further up north. So thoughts on first event? That was good. Brilliant fireworks. Yeah it was, really enjoyed the fireworks. Um, I'm meeting everybody from the cruising association who came. I think uh, my thoughts on it were that you should book or book your um, book your berth early, uh, either uh, very very early or turn up just before the event, because the marinas seem to play a bit of a game about longer term booking, and on the night there were plenty of spaces. We tried at least a month before, and we were on a waiting list. Yeah, we did eventually get into a marina, so that was okay. The fireworks, brilliant. Yeah, there was. Uh, a lot of fireworks, I don't know how many thousand pounds worth of fireworks <laughs> went up, but it was very impressive. So this year is the 25th anniversary of the fireworks competition. Um, it's a two day competition over during midweek. Shame it's not on a weekend, but still very good to go to. Um, and the winner of this year was... Sonic Fireworks from Devon. And it was their first, um, first time they've entered. So that's brilliant for them. Yeah, well done Sonic. Well done Sonic, yes. Right, so next year? Yes, we're going to be coming back next year. Okay, sounds great. Any other events you fancy doing, if we can? If we're around for the Channel Crossing. Sounds good. I'd like to thank Paul and Les Harewood and the Cruising Association for making this possible.